All right, let's get started with WEFTEP lab event. As you can see, the uh, competitors are in between the two tables. Uh, the balance table we're going to refer to as table number one. So first, take out your calibration weight. Remember, don't touch the weight. The oils from your hands will uh, interrupt the weight on the balance. So he used the uh, tongs to move that over. Um, on the other side of the table, you can see that he's getting ready with the magnetic filter and label all of the equipment. Remember, please label clearly. Uh, we don't want the judges having to interpret what you have written. Um, so make sure everything's labeled. Make sure it is legible. Um, use the tweezers to move those filter pads onto the balance and make sure you are shutting all three doors. Uh, that top door and the side doors, they can wiggle as the competitors move the table. So make sure those doors are shut prior to recording any of the weights. Um, rinse your equipment. Uh, carboy, again, it's your responsibility to check the top of that carboy. Um, if that top is too tight, as you know, the water will not flow. Uh, make sure you're rinsing your equipment well. Make sure you are measuring properly. Hit your meniscus. Uh, pay special attention to that to get it right. Moving to the back table. Um, working on the worksheets over on the side. Uh, refer to this as table two for this uh, tutorial. Um, and getting the conductivity meter calibrated. Make sure your uh, shakes are proper, uh, that you invert them um, and pour properly. With your samples, we do require that when you are inverting them on the mix, um, that you pour immediately into the graduated cylinder. Don't invert and sit on the table. Um, you will need to uh, shake again if you do that. So make sure that you're mixing properly and make sure that you're pouring immediately into the graduated cylinders. Very important. Um, proper rinse technique is important on this table as well. Uh, make sure that you are rinsing all of the glassware properly. Um, hitting that meniscus again, you can see the competitor really making sure that he's hitting the line on that, hitting the mark. Again, you want the bottom of the meniscus. Uh, bottom of the meniscus is what you're measuring and what you're reading. So he's taking time to get that right. Um, and if it's not, he is taking, uh, shaking that to get the liquid out of there. All right, moving back down to table one again, you can see that the filter's running, the uh, magnetic uh, filter is put together, vacuum pump is on. Uh, during your two minute setup, I would check the stoppers on that, make sure that they're inserted into the sidearm flask and that you have proper vacuum uh, technique. That's your responsibility. Uh, competitors moving through that, toggling on the vacuum pump on and off. Um, the valves are preset to shut, so they will be set at maximum suction. Uh, there's a line on that mark. You can see it uh, closest to us on table one, uh, blue tape on that suction valve, just to make sure that it's shut and that it's not changed during the uh, setup time. All right, and working on the balance, moving through those pads. Those came out the oven. Um, the competitor is weighing each one hitting the timer to make sure that the countdown uh, happens before weighing those pads. Very important, don't write down a number before that timer goes off. Uh, you will be penalized. Uh, again, make sure the doors are shut and that you write and fill out numbers in each of the spots on the worksheets provided. Uh, very important, get the right date, get your analyst name, and make sure that all of the cells are filled out where data needs to be. Typically, uh, your MA may run it differently, but at WEFTEC, we make sure that those boxes are yellow. So make sure that you uh, follow the yellow brick road there and that there are numeric values or names in each of those cells. Moving back to table two, uh, looks like the competitors, uh, both of them now are working on sample prep. Uh, the reference standard, one of my favorite parts of this event because I think it is so applicable to your daily job. Uh, you have to calculate a target reference concentration and make sure that you choose the right glassware, either a 100 mil volumetric or a 200 mil volumetric, um, and perform that calculation right. Very important with that volumetric glassware that you pay attention to the meniscus, um, and this is very important because you will get time back. The better you perform this task, the more accurate you are, uh, the more time you will get back, up to a minute, uh, if you are within 10% of that target value. Um, if you're not within 10%, 10 to 20%, uh, you will receive 30 seconds back. So very important to hit the mark. Be careful with these volumetrics. They are breakable, obviously, they're glass. Uh, when you put them in the dirty glassware bin, and if there are two of them in there, and you throw them in there, you may break them. You will be penalized if you damage the glassware. So make sure you take uh, time, sit them in there gently. The rest of the uh, 
Uh, the equipment you're using is uh, plastic, so not as important, but with the two volumetrics, please be careful. Pouring the volumetric into the beaker so that he can get an accurate read on that. And again, uh, the read on that will be important because that can result in time back, up to a minute. Uh, that will be read on the conductivity meter. Uh, make sure that probe is fully uh, submerged in the liquid. Sometimes during the event, the probe will get knocked around, it can get crooked uh, in the holder um, and not be fully submerged in the liquid, which will result in a penalty to the team and potentially a uh, improper reading of that reference standard. Just saw the competitor blot and wipe uh, the probe, obviously important. And again, submerge it so that the, uh, the slot in the probe is fully uh, submerged. Moving back to table one, you can see that now there are three competitors. Uh, one uh, individual cleaning up, moving things to the other table. Very important that where things start is where they stop. So make sure that all of the glassware, dirty glassware, pipette washers um, are on the table that they started on. Moving through the samples, you can see the competitor shaking that sample. We mentioned that before and very quickly transferring um, into the magnetic filter and onto the TSS pad. Uh, balance uh, competitors still moving through those filters. It takes time to get it done. Make sure you pay attention to the labels on the bottom of the pans so that you're recording the right value in the right spot on the worksheet. The uh, pans, uh, most often your MA again may do it different. At WEFTEC we try to provide brand new pans each time. So the competitor will write label directly, uh, remember I said legibly, onto the bottom of each pan. So there's not tape on the pans, we're writing directly on the pans uh, and then placing the filter on top of them. Good example there of the competitor dropping the filter, it just slipped out of the tweezers. That is not a problem, just go after it with the tweezers, don't pick it up with your hand, follow proper technique. Please be gentle on the filter pads, they do tear and rip. So make sure that you're taking your time to move that gently. The lab is about speed, obviously a timed event, but procedure is also very important. The penalties are big. Uh, we want you to learn how to have proper lab technique. Um, even though this is a competition, it's very important to follow proper lab technique when possible. Uh, table one again at the vacuum pump, competitors rinsing uh, the filter um, and removing that pad. Make sure you cut the vacuum pump off. Another mistake is trying to remove that pad with vacuum on. Um, you will tear up the pad um, and damage it. So it's loud in the competition area. Sometimes it's easy to forget whether or not that vacuum pump is on or off. So make sure you're taking time to pay attention to that. Back at uh, table two, uh, you can see the dirty glassware is in the blue bins. Those are dirty glassware bins. Pipettes are in the pipette washer beaker. Um, that's correct. And again, those two volumetrics, uh, they, they, you pour the liquid out of them, these to go into the liquid waste. Uh, but be careful when you place them into the blue trays. If they're side by side, they may break. Uh, moving back to table one, everybody's over there cleaning up, wiping up, making sure that the table is dry, placing the uh, pans back in the oven, uh, obviously simulated, but that is where they go. I um, mean, generally just cleaning up the area, making sure that the trash is in the trash, boom, time's up, so competitors are done. All right, now that we've uh, reviewed that at slow motion, I hope this has been helpful. So have fun, enjoy yourself, thanks.